Hey, Dayo, look what I've got. Is this a swire? Not any swire. This one is elegant, but I don't know if I should build her. I have a lot of unbuilt operators and not many resources. In that case, put her on the table so I can examine her. For scientific purposes, of course, Swire the Elegant Wit is a merchant specialist. That means she has low redeployment time but she consumes 3 dp every 3 seconds. It is reduced to 2 dp every 3 seconds when her module is equipped, right? That's right but we will get to that later. Her first talent is Big Spender. When her skill is activated, she gains 1 coin. Coins can be spent by her skills. While her skill is active, gains 1 coin each time DP is consumed by her trait, and plus 4% attack, stacks up to 8 times. So that means every 3 seconds she gets 1 coin for her skill and plus 4% attack, capped at plus 32% attack. Yes, it is a good talent that needs only 24 seconds to reach the full plus 32% attack buff. The fast charging means it won't hurt her trait as a fast redeploy if you want to move her around the map. Her second talent is SOS Payment. When receiving lethal damage, if there is sufficient DP, consume 5 DP instead and recover 70% HP. DP cost doubles every time this talent is triggered. This talent befits her a lot as an operator who moves freely around the stage. She doesn't need a medic and you can just retreat and redeploy her if the DP cost becomes high. Her first skill is Righteous Philanthropist. Spends 1 coin, the next attack restores HP equal to 80% of attack to a friendly unit within the surrounding 8 tiles, with less than 70% HP. A maximum of 3 coins can be held while this skill is equipped. This skill reminds me of Jay's skill too. It is similar but awkward to use, you will need to wait 3 seconds to gain a coin and use it. But it is not as bad as it sounds, because it has a below 70% HP condition, so she won't waste her coins on a near full HP ally. Furthermore, this will be greatly improved by her module, but we will get to that later. Her second skill is Welcome Gift. Spends one coin to place a champagne bomb on a ground tile within range that is passable and can be deployed upon. The champagne bomb deals 200% of attack as physical damage to the first target it comes in contact with, and slow them for 2 seconds. If the champagne bomb is left alone for 3 seconds, it will deal one additional hit. When equipping this skill, the coin limit is 5. This one seems cool, it's like a trap master specialist but the tiles where the trap spawn are fixed. This is her main skill, and while the trap locations are predetermined, they spawn more often, resulting in more crowd control and damage when there are multiple enemies. You can increase trap spawn density by placing Swire next to non-deployable tiles. Her third skill is Lavish and Prodigal. Attacks hit twice and gain one coin upon defeating an enemy when the skill is manually deactivated. All coins will be spent to randomly attack enemies in a frontal area. Each coin spent in this manner hits once for 150% of attack as physical damage, and not knocks the target back moderately. This skill has an unlimited duration, the shift power is 0 at level 7 and it becomes 1 at M3. Can be manually deactivated at any time, a maximum of 10 coins may be held while this skill is equipped. The double hit is nice since her normal attack is fairly weak and you don't want her to be a sitting duck when charging the coins. The damage from this skill is actually good when the skill is fully charged and the shift while might be weak is still a nice addition. The problem that I see in this skill is the small range, but with good positioning, you can make this skill work. Wait, I'm starting to notice a pattern here. Her skills are similar to other operators from the specialist archetype, but they're unique in their own ways. I think they wanted her to be sort of a fast redeploy support, who can move freely around the stage to help her allies, tanking hit with her talent, healing with her first skill, crowd control and damage with her second and third skill. We are not finished yet, because her module gives her a major power-up. At level 3 it improves her first talent from gaining 1 coin to gaining 2 coins each time DP is consumed, and the attack stack becomes a plus 5% attack stack instead of the plus 4% attack. This doubles the amount of coins she gets every 3 seconds, giving a huge boost to her skills, as they are heavily coin reliant. Her module is a must if you're going to build her, as it also reduces her DP consumption from 3 DP every 3 seconds to 2 DP every 3 seconds. So is she worth building? She's definitely a strong and versatile operator, and her fast redeployment gives her a huge control over the stage. Just keep in mind that she is heavily team reliant, so if you have a well-rounded roster go for her. If not, you better prioritize the more general use archetypes like vanguards, defenders, anti-air snipers, ranged guards and so on. With that being said, are you going to build her or not?